Yeah, you just saw that. Coffee crystals. I've been doing crystal coffee lately. Hardcore. You know, you'd figure in a country where you can grow coffee, that there would be good coffee available. As it's here and there, but uh, the local shops often just carry instant, which I find sort of hilarious. So um, I don't have good coffee at the moment, unfortunately, but I should have some soon. The reason I don't have good coffee right now is because I haven't been able to make it all the way to town where the nice supermarket is. That's because the car's engine is apparently shot. It's in the shop, they're trying to source another engine for it, so yeah, we had it. We drove it for like a month and a half and then it died. But let's not talk about my broken car, because that's not that important. Instead, let's try to rectify this coffee situation. I got something. Just a second. Grow bags. I actually made it to the hardware store on the bus, took a couple of buses, and got myself some grow bags. They cost like 20 cents a piece or something like that, and pots are maybe two bucks a piece. So this is, this is the solution for the plants that I am going to go transplant from that coffee. Remember when I showed you those coffees? Yeah. We're gonna go dig them up, and we're gonna transplant them, by the way. I'm only wearing my hat back, ironically. No, not really, I'm just wearing it this way because the way the light was, look, see? You can't see my face. So I was wearing it backwards. My wife is totally gonna hate that I'm wearing it backwards. What are you guys doing over here? I hope you didn't dig up all the coffee sprouts. No. I wanna make sure I can get a decent amount of tap root. So I have this uh, White's Digger, as you can tell I use quite a bit. This White's Digger uh, from White's Electronics. It's actually made for metal detecting, but it has a kind of a nice blade for cutting the ground and sort of a saw end for cutting through roots if you need to. But I wanna get these deep and then I'm gonna stick them in this metal bowl that I have with a little bit of water in the bottom bring them over and pot them up. And then we hope that they live. That's what we always hope. There are three there, which is interesting. I'll have to see if we can divide those out. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's make it an even 15. 15. Now we'll go pot them up, or bag them up. No diggity, I gotta bag it up. about the worms. Worms? They bite! It's important when you're potting up plants to try and disturb the roots as little as possible. What I do is I make a little indentation in here and I try to not remove the clods of dirt from the base of these coffees. I want them to maintain as much of the dirt that I dug them out of on their roots, as little disturbance as possible, and I just kind of tuck them into the ground carefully. I don't press them in, smush them in. I pat the ground gently to settle it around the roots, and then I will come back and I'll water them all to make sure that they have uh, been watered in and that the little air pockets around the roots have been closed up so the micro roots can find water as soon as possible after transplanting because this is the delicate part. This is where you kill your plants. Some of these like this one, the uh, clod, there's no clods on it. It just 
fell out of the soil. So I'm gonna need to tuck that and water these. I need to water these in quickly after doing this. I'm gonna run out of dirt and I guess I'm probably gonna have to go down to the river and make some more at some point and gather some manure and gather some compost and do all that. Like you, you can go look at my video on doing it or trying to make potting soil. Again, this is Coffea Liberica. This is not Coffea Arabica, and this is not Coffea Robusta. You don't exactly know how this uh, tastes. We haven't tried it yet. However, it doesn't really matter because it's a root stock. All I gotta do is find an Arabica Robusta and graft onto these if I decide I don't like the way the beans taste when the ones back there in the woods ripen up and I make some coffee out of them. If I don't like the way it tastes, just graft on top of these suckers a little later when they're stronger. I'll just plant them in the ground when they're bigger and I have some property and then turn around and graft. There is no loss. And remember, I do have that video. Uh, I did an instructional showing three different types of grafts. It's called Get Grafting. It's available for a donation of any amount, though most people like to just take it for free. So, you know, you can do that, or you can give me a couple of dollars if you find that it's uh, you know, something you're interested in. It's about an hour long demonstration. And uh, I show you, you know, basically from knowing nothing, how to be able to do some simple grafts in your own yard. Uh, once you learn it, I was terrified of grafting, but once you learn how to graft, you just don't, you, you'll just never go back. It's so easy uh, and simple. Once you, once you do it, you just have to lose your fear of it. And that's why, I made the little film. People kept asking me about it. And I'm not any kind of grafting pro, but I have a good success rate, and I just share share with you the uh, simple bits and pieces on how I graft. I'll put a link in the description below to get grafting. Just really, it's a fun film anyways. Here's some leaf litter and soil that I dug up under the mature coffee trees, which are quite happy trees. And so what I'm doing is spreading, hopefully, some of the good fungi and bacteria that may have been around their roots. And I am going to put in some rainwater from the rain barrel into this. I don't want to use the city water because I don't want to inadvertently kill anything in case there's chlorine in it. I'm not sure what they put in it here. But I am going to go over to the rain barrel and we are going to make a little solution and swish this around and then we are going to water the transplants with it. I think that's gonna do it. I've got 15 little sprouts. Hopefully they all survive the transplanting. I think they will. Coffee's a pretty tough plant, actually. I need 10 more, according to the estimate that I found and, uh, and put into the little how to grow your own caffeine booklet. Um, I need 10 more to have a year's supply worth of coffee. So 25 coffee trees under good conditions or optimal conditions should do it. These are pretty close to optimal conditions, but I'm probably gonna plant like 50 or 1,000 coffee plants. But I ran out of grow bags and I'm running low on potting soil again. So, you know, 15 is for now. For now we have 15. So be sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. If you don't like the videos, you can give me a thumbs down. Just don't leave any nasty comments or I might make fun of you. 
Until next time, may your thumbs always be green. Anyhow, be sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoy the videos and like and thumbs up and be sure to thumbs up and like. <laughs>